What's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy, Beehive Radio Shout in. Stepping in the building, I got my Memphis 10 fam in this thing. A legend, one of my favorite artists of all time. Play a fly, what's good with it, boss? No applause, no autographs, no photographs, please. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, I mean, fly, hold up, man. You done hooked up with that boy, Zay Tovin. Man, I've been mobbing with Zay ever since, uh, you know, uh, Y'all made it cool down here to rap on other people beats. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. You know when I got out the box, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was copyright infringement. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. That was a federal offense. I couldn't understand how everybody was putting out these mixtapes in '06 and '07. You know what I'm saying? Rapping on everybody else's beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, I messed around and got a hold to uh, Mr. Zay Tobin's production. That uh, is you rolling. Uh, the Gucci Mike John yeah. shouts out to the Wopster. You know yes, what I'm saying? Sir. Him and uh, Mrs. Wop that killing it. I'm so sick of them. that blue champagne. <laughs> <laughs> blue lipstick, blue champagne. I'm so sick of people killing it, man. Killing the it, game. I love it. I love it. Yeah, but I got a hold to that uh, issue rolling, and uh, you know, I don't pop no pills, and at least not no rolls. But uh, <laughs> I do some things, so I made my own version, and uh, <laughs> they got a hold to it. We got a hold to each other, and hey, our brotherhood was born. You oh, know what really? I'm you know, I told this story a couple of times. We bumped into each other, you know what I'm saying, on Pano Panola Road right there by the uh, Walmart. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? You know, met his mom, you know what I'm saying, his father, the family, the household. Big ass dog. Keep that big motherfucker away from me, please. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we just, uh, it's like a little family reunion. Zay hit me up with the Zay Pack. He's in college, say he's ready to do a project, you know what I'm saying? He had been doing uh, projects, uh, joint ventures with different artists, you know what I'm saying? Some from my era, some back from where he's from, because he's actually from San Francisco, Bay, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He's from the Bay Area, 415, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so um, he hit me up and said he wanted to do a project, you know what I'm saying? And it was an honor, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been watching his growth. His growth, I've been watching him transform. I just been watching him zoom, and you know, I just hit him up along the way. Just man, I'm proud of you. Keep on going, brother. He always hit me back. You know what I'm saying? Flizz out. You know what I'm saying? My thanks and this, that, and the other. You know, uh, he got a beautiful family. Man, he got the whips out of control over there right now. I'm so sick of saying, man. Yeah, so it was an honor to just know that uh, he remember and he know, cause uh, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, a lot of. Niggas act like they don't know who I am, like they don't know me, you know what I'm saying? Or they done forget, like I told you earlier, so quick, you know what I'm saying? They forget, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was just uh, sharing sodas with my brother, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now they act like they don't know me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, break down that joint right there, though, Fly. I mean, y'all don't know me. What Fly. was it that made you say, okay, y'all out here tripping, acting like y'all don't know about Fly man, anything? It's so obvious, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, if it's Fly shit only, man, don't act like you don't know me, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm Mr. Fly shit since 96, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This shit wasn't here before me, you know what I'm saying? You had Fly Girl. Girl tone low yeah. or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Or the fly girls only live in color or some yeah. shit, man. But you ain't heard no shit like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My dad says it's the best. It's the best. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. <laughs> fly shit, man. So remember this. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just had to reiterate it to, you know what I'm saying? The uh present audience, you know what I'm saying? I know times have changed, it's a new generation, it's a new era, you know what I'm saying? But I'm still here, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm still looking a lot younger than a lot of these young niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm taking care of myself very well, God preserving me, you know what I'm saying? Keep on blessing me. And uh, you can't estimate, you know what I'm saying, my worry about my wealth, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like Bob Marley, you know what I'm saying? I'm wealthy in areas that you can't count. You That's know right. And I have longevity. You know what I'm saying? I have spirituality, you know what I'm saying? I have family, man. I have generations that might look up to me, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker think I'm Batman, you know what I'm saying? For real. You know I'm the, saying? I feel that with that being said, I mean, the numbers that you're doing on the remakes and the videos that you've been dropping, man, I mean, you set up there, gave us start running again, get me out again, funk and bunk again. What was that like when you said, you know what, I need to put some visuals behind these things? I've been saying that ever since, you know, the records came out, you know what I'm saying, I always had a higher standard for visuals, you know what I'm saying. I grew up watching Michael Jackson Thriller, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that uh, California Love with uh, Park and Dre and uh, uh, Roger, you know what I'm saying. So. 
I had a different admiration for visuals, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I wanted my something spectacular, and I could never achieve that uh, with the people I was coming in contact with, you know what I'm saying, coming up, and there was just so much going on in my life that videos really wasn't the priority at that time. I didn't have access to the platforms to uh, distribute them or promote them or air them because I was barely getting airplay, you know what I'm saying, in my city, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So. Shit, trying to get a video played or shot, you know what I'm saying? And they talking about it cost this, that, and the other. But today, it's so easy, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? All the editing software, all the cameras, the 4K, 6K, 8K, the red cam, all this here, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The iPhone got 10 different cameras on the back of it. You got all the <laughs> software in there. You can damn near uh, make the beat, record the song, goddamn it, mix and master the song, shoot the video, all this shit on your iPhone, then upload it to Spotify all in one walk, on, you know now. what I'm saying? So it made it more easier and accessible to do it. So I knew that um, the songs needed visuals. I, you know, created a, a, a visual demand for myself through social media with uh, my social media outlets, you know what I'm saying, until they hacked my other account, you know what I'm saying, I was on the other junk that crushed me, you know what I'm saying, but that made me say, hey, well, we can put together some visuals. And shout out to brothers like Shane Gutter, you know what I'm saying, yeah. who had a big, uh, eye, a big mind to shoot ghetto eyes. And shouts out to Jerry Wallace, a Wallace film, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, we shot part of that uh, up there in, uh, what's that, Carolina, when they had the uh, Super Bowl here, and then yeah. they had the All-Star game right up there because we was here at the Super Bowl, and then we shot right on up there, and we ended up start shooting part of the video up there that weekend, actually, My you know God. what I'm saying? So. It was just so much going on, but it was just so easy to do now. You mm -hmm. know, as a cameraman, travel with, like you were talking about your shooters earlier. Shout exactly. out to the shooters and the shooters only. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. We appreciate you. Come on Shout down. out to the shooters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I knew. And, you know, we actually shot one to nobody needs nobody. You know what I'm saying? What? I didn't release it because I was, it was just a lot going on in the footage. You know what I'm saying? It was caught up. It's just a, a lot of chaos. So. We're going to try to figure that one out, too. But nevertheless, I just wanted, you know, nice visuals for the records. And once I had the ability to do it, you know what I'm saying, a platform to exploit it, yeah. then that made it more of a priority and, you know what I'm saying, a goal and, you know, something more of my interest. You know what I'm saying? The last time we talked, Fly, I caught a lot of hell off of that interview because I didn't ask you about nobody needs nobody. How did that joint come about? Mine, uh, no comment. Just because you caught all the hell, you know what I'm saying? Because that was a beautiful interview. And yeah. so many people tried to define and confine my career around that one record. You oh. know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, my dad, you know, Bill Chill, the one saying on the record. That's right. You know, it's his record, man. He yeah. owned that record, man. You wouldn't love that record. I wouldn't love that record. We wouldn't love that record. Yeah, the beat cool. Yeah, Black bumped that joint. Yeah, I yeah. bumped that joint. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Bill Chill stole the show. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Did. So, you know what I'm saying? And that record took a lot. You know, we tried to record that record several times. And even after we recorded the final version, my father even went back and booked his own session <laughs> without my knowledge to go put the actual final version of the vocals that you hear to this day. My because God. everybody was just in such pursuit of perfection. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It was like a friendly battle. You know what I'm saying? But we was all iron sharpening iron. It was a different mentality. It was a family. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I did an interview yesterday and a guy was talking about um, black and myself both having an Islamic background and I had to inform them all black didn't have no Islamic background. He thought that because black said, As-salamu alaykum, yeah. I'm getting it on, but yeah. now that come from him hanging around me and be a chill. Yeah. You know understand yeah. what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it was a family affair and we came up and came out with some great music, a great work of art, you know what I'm saying? But uh, at the end of the day, that doesn't confine me you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we had Just Awake and Shaken before nobody. We had Crown and Me before nobody. We had Trouble Bitch Mafia before nobody. You know what I'm saying? We had Nappy Her and Gold Teeth before nobody. You understand what I'm saying? Ho yeah. Can't Stop No Show before nobody. All of these records were heat-seeking missiles that fly fans uh, adore, love, and enjoy. 
you know what I'm saying? And it didn't stop there. You know, after no matter, we got to get our ass. After no matter, we got to get me out. After no matter, we got to feel me. After no matter, we got, y'all niggas, y'all niggas <laughs> don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm still coming gunning, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Answer me this, though, Fly, because nope. that nobody need nobody. What do you think it was about that song and that synergy in it that caused it to be so crazy and touch the hearts of men so deeply, man? Because it's a passionate song, you know what I'm saying? Not to uh, mention that uh, Deborah Cox had a song called No Batter out at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, man, that was a good turbo boost, though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That jump was out at the same time, so people could have been calling in asking for her jump, but, you know what I'm saying, we was getting the response, too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But, no, nah, it's a passionate record. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gave it their all. The beat is sensational. You know what I'm saying? The vocals, you know, the temperament, you know what I'm saying? Just the back-to-back, -back, you know what I'm saying? Just the, the flow, like I said, and be a chill, just gracing it with, you know, from the beginning. It's just a pleasant sound to the ear. It's a pleasant sound to the soul. You don't even know what's going to become of the record. If it's your first time hearing and you just hear it come on and you hear the hi-hats and you hear the whistles, nobody a chant, nobody in the end. You hear them, no, no, no. You know, it just it starts to resonate with you. Oh, okay, what's this? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, oh, this better be good. And then it's actually good. It's yeah. actually a great fucking record. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, like I said, it was just a lot of stuff going on in the city. You know, of course, it was a transition. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, yeah, next question. When it mm. comes to your art form, though, Fly. What move B won't? Yeah, move I mean, B won't. <laughs> <laughs> <ain't answering laughs> <my phone. laughs> I'm glad you could call about anything. I ain't answering it. You done yeah, seen it. Okay, but yeah. uh, no, Mook trying to get it in. Yeah. But my whole th what up, though, Mook? Yeah, but, right. That's you what I'm saying. My, I was on live with Fabo this morning. Though. I was going live. He tried. Then we were talking about this trip we took to the DR. He had only two dollar bills. So shout out D four L D money, Mook B. Stuff Man, Favo, yes, the whole uh, click, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's go. I mean, break that down, man, the trip to the DR. Man, look, Favo had these $2 bills, man. I know this man had about $20,000 worth of $2 <laughs> bills this first time we met, you know what I'm saying? D-Money had us going down there to Impact. I think that's what it was called, one of those music uh, retreats that yeah. they were doing. So all the stars was down there. Uh, Webber then was at the high Rick Ross was starting. He was down at Slim Thug was doing the thing. Uh, uh, what's the what DJ Drama? Yeah, he was at his height. You know what I'm saying? He was doing a lot of stuff. This was like, uh, I guess in '06 maybe or something like that. Maybe '03 or something. I don't even remember. I yeah. think back to be get the actual definite day. I had to go back in my file cap. <laughs> anyway, back at the ranch, man. You know what I'm saying? It's first time I seen all these uh, turkey sap You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen this bit of stars. I see this bit of stars at nighttime. You know what I'm yeah. looking in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm like under these thousands, I'm in the sun. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I can't compare to you guys. I shine. You know what I'm saying? I make the whole world get hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the reason for the season. But uh, yeah, man, we was down there mobbing and uh, man, we were barking together and hanging out. And boy, Fabo painted the whole island with two dollar bills. <laughs> when I tell you <laughs> that my brother, <laughs> Miss Jackson, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fabo covered that island with two dollar bills, man. I'm talking about boy, we had the time of our life, man. Everywhere we went, man, it was like he had his own currency. Exactly. But yeah, I had just got out the box, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, D Money flew us down there, man. Shouts out to D Money, man. Yes, One sir. of the realest motherfucking niggas I ever met in my <laughs> life. I promise, man. Yeah. Yeah, shouts out to Decatur Ike, too. You know what I'm Already. saying? Already. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shouts out to D Money, wherever the fuck you at. Family, <laughs> love you so motherfucking much, man. You changed my motherfucking life. Fly, when you think about your career, man, what do you feel like was your best part of it that you just was enjoying the hell out of yourself, man? <clears throat> man, the best is really truly yet to come because right now I'm I'm enjoying myself so much, you know what I'm saying? Uh Man, the pandemic didn't bother me. <laughs> yeah. Man, you know, I ain't do no shows, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, the pandemic didn't bother me, man. And right now, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm I'm more financially stable and established, you know what I'm saying, and secure, you know what I'm saying, 
than I've ever been in my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, uh, I ain't going to get into my political views, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm just going to say, man, I'm thankful. <laughs> 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 I am so thankful, man, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I prayed for a yard for my grandson to play in, you know what yeah. I'm saying? He playing in the yard, you know what I'm saying? They had a snowstorm in Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I prayed to be a snowman with my grandson on the last day. You know what I'm saying? And God know how they cold early. How he hurt my nose. You know. <laughs> man, it was 53 degrees out there. You hear me, man? Yeah. The yard's still full of snow, man. It was a beautiful day, man. We made a beautiful snowman, man. I am so happy right now. You hear me? <laughs> I am so thankful, man. You know what I'm saying? You see me in the world, you know what I'm saying? I'm um, in snowflake sugar, you know what I'm saying? White on white, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, on Fort Giotto's of flex, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Kill check to protect you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm so happy right now. So, man, you know, I enjoyed the time that I had with my father. That's what I missed the most. Yeah. If I had to go back, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was just it. I remember I could see so vividly, you know, we walk into the studio to record a record, you know what I'm saying? He wearing an old pair of my jeans because we built up just alike. We all have knots, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he got his straw hat on, got his old regular briefcase with the uh, DR5 in it. And uh, we on our way to go drop getting it on. We walked from Big Mama House, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. changed the name of the street to Willie Mitchell now. It was Lauderdale. That's the L in SPL. Yeah. SPV, South Parkway Village, SPL, South Parkway Lauderdale. But we walked to Willie Mitchell Studio on what is now now known as Willie Mitchell uh, Boulevard, formerly known as Lauderdale. And uh, I missed that. Yeah. I would give anything for that. I would give anything for uh, the moment that uh, my grandmother, Miss Minnie May, demanded that I bring her some more of these cassette tapes. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't be still long enough to sell them. And people stopping by the house to uh, want to get them because we're right there on park where they love to see me out there every day. I'm yeah. out there, she out there. You know what I'm saying? Them tapes you left up under the bed, this mine, this my money, and I need some more. And I'm not finna buy them. You know what I'm saying? So she wants some more work. Yeah. She's not already stole my work from up under the bed. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. The soul that then told me that. You know what I'm saying? You're saying my name all over these records, many made this, many made that, and I need some more. You understand what I'm saying? I need some more of them. You know what I'm saying? They keep the blue falling. That's pretty, baby. I like that. They, you know, rock you back to sleep. I should kick yeah. y'all in the nuts and shit. Yeah, I like that blue. That's pretty, baby. You look like the sky. You know what I'm saying? God bless you, Jesus. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. When you think about the family unit that y'all brought together, though, man, to create that music, man. I think that's part of part of the reason why it touched the hearts of people so damn tough because it was family oriented music, man. Man, my whole life has been family oriented. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I grew up without my mother. My mother, um, she trafficked drugs and um, abused drugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her whole entire life, cross country. So I'm. And my mother's son. <laughs> but, man, uh, you know what I'm saying? Bill and uh, Miss Minnie made her aware that uh, I was going to stay right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she passed through on the route sometime, you know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, you know, like my biggest battle, like I told you last time, you know what I'm saying? I had to be a Muslim and a Christian at the same time. I Ooh. had to, you know, you know, assalamu alaikum, Jesus Christ, you know, Allah, Akbar, hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, family was there. Love was there. Spirituality was there. You know what I'm saying? You do wrong, wrong, follow you was there. So, man, you know, I had, that was my message. Uh, you know, you couldn't be a studio gangster, you know. Yeah. That was even before I was rapping, you know what I'm saying? They were saying that in the hood. So when I chose to start spitting lyrics, I had to make sure I could stipulate to a factual basis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of passion in there. Not to mention I'm a second generation musician. Mm -hmm. So like I said, if the family business is quarterbacking, you know, when I finally picked up that football and said, be a chill up, man, you know, how this work, man, threw him a pass and he's like, oh, let me show you. Now I'll grab it right here by the strings and yeah. you hold it like this and you punch your elbow where you want to throw it at. Y'all I knew all that. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, yeah, stuff like that, you know, but he started to, you know, shake me up, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why it was, passion was embedded in it. Yeah. Family Orient was embedded in it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That was the epitome of the existence of it. It wasn't going to be 
anything else. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Not to mention, I am the street. I'm from the street. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been shot. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been to jail. You know what I'm saying? I'd have robbed. I'd have been robbed. You know what I'm saying? I'd have did it all and seen it all or know somebody that's close to it. I still maintain my manhood, but still, you know, stayed a man, didn't join no organization, didn't join no gang, uh, formed a cut like following in an organization yeah. and a structure of my own, you know what I'm saying, that I have a brotherhood around the world to this day, you know what I'm saying, pull up in Puerto Rico, man, folk pull up with everything I need, my suitcase, briefcase, you know what I'm saying, no, I'm not Lil Wayne, but, uh, you know what I'm saying. Go get some love I, in there. Man, I got it, you know what I'm saying. Fly, when you got shot, at what point in your career was you at, man, and how did that impact you? Man, I got shot on my dad's birthday. My God. That was crazy, man. It was right after flash year, but before moving on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was in the late 90s. It had to been between 96 and 98, because that's when those albums came out. Flash year came out August 27, 1996. Moving on came out June 16, 1998. And then my father died uh, March the 20th. First day of spring, 99. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was like a chain reaction. But, yeah, right before the end, you know what I'm saying, uh, I got shot. Uh, mine just, it was it was just a transitional period, just growing up, you know what I'm saying? It was a big misunderstanding, man. I was around some old heads, and one thing led to another, you know what I'm saying? And, shit, we had a gunfight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yep, then I drove to the hospital after I got shot, drove past three hospitals, count one, two, three. And no, I was not on no blow, for the record. You know, if anybody want to think that I was on some Scarface shit, oh, man, this shit really make you do that. I wasn't on no cocaine. I ain't had no cocaine in my system. That alcohol is some terrible shit. Yeah. That's the fuck I was on. That's why, you know what I'm saying, that shit there. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Give me everything God made, y'all can keep everything man made. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If it grow out the earth, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But you know, some of the shit, you got to pace yourself. You know what yeah. Saying? Matter of fact, somebody pay my cup around that way somewhere. <laughs> Don't put them all in there. <laughs> I got you. you. Know what I'm saying? Just because it said Tennessee. Y'all need to give us a deal. You know what I'm saying? Just so we can show the bottles. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to cut us a check. <laughs> Endorsement. Liquor company. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we reaching out right now. You know what I'm saying? Endorsement. You know what I'm saying? Cleaning my act up. You know what I'm saying? What y'all want to do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Creating a cult like following though, Fly. I um, mean, explain to me how one goes about creating a cult. I, I, I Listen. The only way that we can... Try to come up with some type of recipe for that is we have to look back and it still wouldn't work for you. Yeah. It just worked for me. You hey. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, I didn't know. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody who say I raised them, I was raising me too. Yeah. I was just testifying and telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? And people uh, wanted that. You know what I'm saying? I rebelled against the powers that be. People wanted that. I identified with who I am, what I am, how I am, why I am the way that I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Eminem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, and my people identified with that. You know what I'm saying? And I stuck with that. I yeah. didn't change that. You know, people will say I changed the sound. I don't feel like I changed the sound. Today is not yesterday. Mm. Excuse me. I'm not doing the same things I was doing yesterday. Yeah. You know, I'm still the same guy, so I can still keep it in that same fashion, but not only that, the world is turning at a different pace. It's yeah. doing some different things. So if I want to uh, stay hip or stay fly yeah. or be as fly as I can be, then I got to be aware. You know what I'm saying? Like I told him, and this is the third interview I'm going to say it in, you can uh, be a Flintstone or you can be a Jetson. You, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. But it's still the same Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Come on now. And it's still the same storyboard, still the same format. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't think that I done changed. I'm just identifying with who I am and who I'm becoming and who I'm looking forward to becoming. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? I have aspirations to be something different. You know what I'm saying? You should condemn me if I still want to be that same person that I once was. I may do some different, the same things, but I don't do them in the same fashion. Yeah. I may go to some of the same places, but I don't go with the same people. I don't do the same things when I go there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And forgive me, I might want to go some different places and do some different things. 
I hear you. But it's eight billion of y'all out there, and never in a day will I sit up here and try to do what you want me to do, what you want me to do, what you want me to do, what you want me to do. Man, look, fuck all y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this my life. Yeah. I have to do what I want to do. That's right. I have to live my life. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate the following, and we're going to mob to the moon and back. You know what exactly. I'm saying? But I'm going to tell the truth, and I'm going to be on the front line every single second. I ain't going to be behind nobody. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Until it's time to go through the door. And I'm awake. Like I said, after crowning all my dogs. Come on. Man. Then you should be crowning me. You know what I'm saying? Fly, the fight in your music, though, man. I think that resonated with so many people, including myself. You know, it was plenty of times where I would find myself going through some things where I had to ride in to wherever the hell I was going, bumping me some fly, okay? Get Me Out is one of them songs as well <laughs> that I would just have to cut all the way up and ride to. Talk to me about that fight. Where did that fight come from Look in at you? me, man. Look at me, man. I'm a 130 pound soaker with man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I talk so much shit. I'm handsome as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Smart as hell. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, it's been a couple of times motherfucker might have wanted to uh, get up on me or sit yeah. there and get up on me, but I know how to make a motherfucker get up off me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Tony Bone taught me that. You know what I'm saying? You might want to get up off me, but you're going to have to bring your ass to come and kick mine. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's just my heart. You know what I'm saying? It's the passion, like I said. So every single second, I'm a have not. I'm, I'm an advocate for the have nots. I'm an advocate for the struggle. All the records that you hear today is everybody is emitting success. Everybody is so successful. Newsflash, man. <laughs> Everybody ain't successful, man. Yeah. Everybody ain't happy, man. Newsflash. I'm sorry to inform you, man, but some people have bad days. Yeah. I'm an advocate for that. Yeah. I will reach out and I will express myself in a fashion where you can relate to that and say, this man has had a bad day, but he's a fighter. Yeah. He's moving on. He's getting it on. The game still owe him. Come on. And flash shit is the best. And even today, y'all niggas act like what? Y'all niggas <laughs> acting like they don't know. All right, come on, man. Listen, man, I paid the way for all y'all. Y'all know it, man. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, they said that Memphis right now, they were talking about it. on. They said something about Charlamagne. said that Memphis has the best rappers right now. They said it's height or something. Man, come on, man. It wouldn't be no... Y'all without us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The project passed. Shout out to my guy. Project you know what I'm Yes, sir. Yeah, it wouldn't be no y'all without us, man. Talk you know about being able to link back up with the mafia and three six and stuff like that after all of these years. I ain't and linked jam. up with them. Yeah, how that you because you had Paul on the interview the following week after my interview. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I ain't gonna even talk about that. <laughs> You well, know no, you saying? know, I got love for all waited, the But members. you could have waited two weeks. You could have waited a month, nigga. You could have <laughs> did something better than that. That was just so uh, uh, unclassy. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Was, yeah, my, I said, this, are you serious, B.I.? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I won't, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, this was right after this nigga tried to name his album M.A.D. And I had to say something to him online about that. And he had to change the name of to Mafia for Life. And that just showed the following shit that he was doing it is, you know, I supposed to be the broke rapper he's supposed to be rich they got the Oscar he in California I supposed to be strong you know what I'm saying don't follow me you know what I'm saying cause I done came up here and turned be high up like this no and then we had this motherfucker conversation man come on man he know it man get, can I get an amen man come on man that ugly ass watch you got on that motherfucker so hard man god damn right I love it man yeah man I was like what the this fuck is this some people say I'm crazy I ain't crazy I'm just ignorant you know what I'm saying <laughs> I ain't doing nothing with telling them motherfucker truth. What? I was me this though, Flower. No. Nope. <laughs> Why was it that y'all was never able to come to some kind of consensus, man? man? It, it wasn't no consensus to come to. It wasn't really, you know what I'm saying, that big of a bad blood. You know what okay. I'm saying? You know you know how the streets are. You know how people are. You know how your city is, just like my city. There's a lot of gossip go on, but we had our discrepancies. And, man, my proof was in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? It was six of them. Only one of me, you know what I'm saying? I boldly told him, motherfucker, sucker, she'll be crowning me. You know what I'm saying? I told him that, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't to that extent, you know what I'm saying? I had seen Paul a couple of times in the street. It wasn't like there's no shoot him up, bang, bang, but it wasn't gonna be making no music, you know what I'm saying? Shit, man, uh, 
I have uh, the most intimate relationships with some female artists that I know that I never make music with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's like having a motherfucking baby. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it ain't no love lost. It ain't no love found. But I heard Paul say it best one day. I don't need no new friends today. Mm. Answer me this, though, Fly, because this is just from a fan's perspective. What would it be like if all y'all boys got back in the studio oh, and jammed? And did what? And jam, nigga. What, is, what does that mean? Make a song together. A song, and then what? do what with it? Hell, put it out for us. Just Who so we is y'all? Your fans that love Man, you, your where car following. Where y'all been? We've been here the whole time. Where are Listening to the music. So I need them to get y'all to listen to me? Because y'all niggas, y'all <laughs> niggas. <laughs> no, no, I'm just asking because I've been here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Man, ever since the truth, ever since prepare or beware one or two, ever since king of all kings, ever since the game owed me single. You know what I'm saying? I even might got a bus and came down here for the Super Bowl and wrapped it. You understand what I'm saying? Man, time flies. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Man, I've been here. You know what I'm saying? But I don't need them niggas. I'm Mr. Nobody Needs Nobody. You know what I'm saying? And see, I feel you. I don't think it's from a need and perspective. I think it's just one of those things. It's just like an outcast reunion. Folks want to make sure that Big Boy and Drake can get together well, and jam and we can two enjoy guys. You know what I'm saying? Who you want me to reunite with? I'll give you one person. Everybody. Who is everybody? The whole mafia. What mafia? It's Men and May Mafia. You That's the only I mafia I want the Men and May Mafia, the three sick mafia, uh, every mafia listen, in right. Memphis to get together listen, and jam right. in this thing flat. I don't know. You, I don't know, man. I got verses for sale. If, they, okay. <laughs> if motherfucker want to make some verses. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. I'm just passionate about my music, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And man, all these guys that had all these platforms, ain't nobody trying to do no music with me, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to do no music with me. Shouts out to Drama Boy, you know what I'm saying? Drama Boy makes something happen. Drama you know Boy, what, what up though, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But man, ain't nobody trying to make no music with me. What about your friendship with Pat? Man, me and Pat can do whatever, man. You know, yeah. we family. We talk about uh, doing stuff. Now, yeah, okay, I'll work on that for you. you know, that's, you. The, that's the best that I can do. That would be crazy as I'll hell. I'll see. I'll see. That's what the king tells the kingdom. I'll see. I'm not making no motherfucking promises. <laughs> this is the book talking. Y'all need to read the book. The book a bad motherfucker. You know what I'm yes, saying? Uh, now, I'll see. You know what I'm saying? Now, see you also had a uh, viral moment out here in the I had streets. several, man. Which one you want to talk about? I'm talking about In the Mirror Fly. <laughs> in the mirror I mean You got on that thing And remixed Michael Jackson And crunked that thing All the way up man And we knew that Fly was still Fly out here In these streets Talk to me about Why you had to Bring that to him Oh man <laughs> Shit I don't know Honestly I don't know Why I had to Share that that day I had been sitting On that work of art For a minute Um I actually was going to do a parody album with about seven cuts, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. But uh, just going live and feeding off my fans, because that was um, really uh, my platform at that time, just every day, you know, getting up, going live, engaging my audience. They actually monetized my Facebook account, so I was actually... Getting it in, yeah, getting it on. Yeah, man, <laughs> getting me something to get me out. Come on you know now. You know what I'm saying? What I like to call email box money. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? On. Come straight to your email box. You know what I'm saying? Got the uh, can, the, the little emoji with the the, the, the green the dollar yeah, sign. No, yeah, yeah. It's time we come from any outlet. You know what I'm saying? I love to see them emails. <laughs> yes. Uh, so man, um, just feeding in off of them, and I got I don't remember the exact comment I read or uh, what was going on, but uh, something just inspired me to um, hit it. And uh, it had been a minute since I had even thought about it, you know what I'm saying, because uh, I converted it to memory, of course, obviously, you know what I'm saying. But uh, it was just coming out so good, you yeah. know what I'm saying. I kept on going before I knew I threw it. I said, Mom, I'm going to bump on the head and let these <laughs> folks know what's going on. You know what it's I'm saying, because, you know, everybody be so critical of, you know what I'm saying, something that I do or something that I used to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back at the ranch. Man, you do something. 
Yeah. You do something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But let he who is free of sin cast the first stone. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? The last time I'm checking my, you know what I'm saying? I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's doing me okay. You know what I'm saying? So I embrace, you know, everything I am. I embrace, I love the king of pop. Yeah. Long live King Pop, man. They killed yes, my uh, nigga, man. They killed on a lot of good niggas real quick. Bernie Mac, Prince, Michael yeah. Jack, Kobe. Man, and, man, I don't believe this shit no accident, but that's yeah. another story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to get me in here on another podcast. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? To tell this truth, man. We Black gotta, conspiracy theories, volume one. Man, these ain't conspiracies, though, man. Or these ain't theories. One, they either yeah. one or the two. They either conspiracies or either they theories. Ooh. And the theory is still a fact, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Jack, it's not a hypothesis, you know what I'm saying? Not an educated guest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I am an educated guest on your show. Come on, you know what come saying? on. And I'm full of this snow. See, you, you come to here with these balls now, man. You came with these balls. My man, my man, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to no soda, you know what I'm saying, my brother. Answer me this, though, Fly. What do you think it takes? To have the career that you had, because even though the game still owe you, you still got a legion of fans that's been rocking the whole time. That's still playing that music. And what do you think wrong. it takes for a new artist to be able to have that kind of a run? They ain't got it, man. Because it's like I was prepared in the oven, they microwave. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? You know, it's it's a, a, a easy back oven what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And you know, my longevity is based on the way that these dishes were prepared. You know what I'm saying? I was trained by a musical master, a genius that taught me what having an ear for music really is. You know what I'm saying? The close you can get to an ear. For music is the producer that you link up with. You have to link up with a Zaytoven or a drama boy. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? That will actually, and then they still have to be passionate about it. A lot of you guys just want you to send them the track, and then they want to stumble and mumble rap through it and punch me in. Mm -hmm. Those ingredients, they not built to last. You understand what I'm saying? The only way that it will last is if the world deteriorates, mm -hmm. and that's something we definitely don't want. We don't want the mentality and humanity, you know what I'm saying to continue to accept that yeah. you know what I'm saying you know we once had a standard you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying you know we had this pandemic because people stopped washing their hands it's simple that's what they start promoting tell you wash your hands how many times have you been told to wash your goddamn motherfucking ratchet ass hands yeah. do you know how much shit you done touched since you done came up in this motherfucker here yeah you understand what I'm saying then the first thing we go do is touch each other <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So with that being saying, wash your motherfucking hand. Man, they didn't have to tell us this shit. We already knew this shit. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So today it, it, it's microwaved. You understand what I'm saying? It's not built for longevity. So like I said, the only way that it will stand the test of time is if the format remains compatible with it. Mm -hmm. That means the world has to slow down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The world has to start mumbling. Yeah. The world has to start stuttering and punching in. You know, motherfuckers used to be embarrassed by stuttering. Motherfuckers wanted to have proper etiquette and sit up and hold yeah. your tea like this and put your pink out and all this shit. You had to have class and you know what I'm saying? Don't come in the restaurant cutting your steak, holding your fork like this bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cutting that motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta be right. And so that's the ingredients that was instilled into the music that I make. Uh -huh. So with that being said, you know, uh, you got to go back and get them old cookbooks. Shh. That's what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? You can't yeah. have these rapid recipes. You got to go get them great granny cookbooks. Exactly. And go back in there and cook up. You know what I'm saying? You got to go in there and cook up. You know what I'm saying? Just like, and I mentioned these guys because I love them so much. But drum is they, anytime we get with my, I tell them to send me some beats. No, you got to come in because they love how I work. They they don't mind me sitting in their house all day. And I'm like, man, y'all wait on me and I got to write this shit. No, they so thankful to be around the artist that's going to do that versus exactly. wearing out the engineer cars and just sitting there, hold up, hold up, roll up this other blunt, take this Instagram, and got the yeah. gun. I'm doing it, and I'm doing that. This nigga bitch. And I'm trying to get off with all this shit, you know what I'm saying? So they admire that artistry, and they might praise that. So, you know what I'm saying, you need stuff like that to create longevity, you know what I'm saying? That's the same stuff Marvin Gaye did. Yeah. That's the same stuff that Michael Jackson did. Yeah. You know, they rehearsed. You know what I'm saying? They reiterated this stuff over and over again. That's the reason why to this day, 
you still hear these people reference. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I'm with you. You and Gangsta Black. Y'all too. Y'all camaraderie, man. Can you speak on that? It's just a, it's a marriage. Yeah. It's a hood marriage. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, and, and I say it like a marriage, and, and please let me clear this here, man. No gay shit, because y'all know how y'all live down here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That, that, not in this shit. room, but I hear you. No, I'm just telling yeah. my you know what they yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what they do, brother. You know what they do. I am going to tell the motherfucking truth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I have to be careful when I use these motherfucking terms. But, you yeah. know, I'm just going to tell the truth. It, like I said, it's like a marriage is more sacred than a brotherhood. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because we spat over the smallest things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes and it's always the outside. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, that's my brother. Um, his son just got drafted to the Cowboys. Show sure enough in the uh, last round. Uh, I think he was like the hundred ninety six pick or something. But Jerry Jones got him. You know what I'm saying? He number ninety eight, Bo Hannon. So shouts out to uh, Memphis yes, team. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, uh, son of uh, Gangsta Black. You know what I'm saying? The Stella Bo Hannon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but uh, that's, how did y'all boys even meet? Uh, we from the same hood. That's why I say it's like a marriage. You know, uh, we right there. We South Parkway. You know what I'm saying? I was on South Parkway. He was on the side street off mm. South Parkway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Taylor Babies and Smoke. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, you know what I'm saying? It was the hood. So yeah. we got together. We went to the uh, same boys club, same school, knew the same dudes. It's the hood yeah. right there. You know what I'm saying? That was Big Chub. You used to cut her, work yes, at the uh, grocery store, cut yeah. grass, you know, stuff yeah. like that. I know, not me. Yeah, he did. Answer me this. You and Bill <laughs> Chill as well, man. What was the first song that y'all did together? And was there any time that you felt like your daddy was trying to take over your damn music career? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. My, my, my music career was his for the taking. Okay. Um, He was a sparring partner. He was um the Floyd Senior. Yeah. Or the uncle. Or what's uh, Floyd uncle name? Mayweather. Yeah, the other Uncle, Uncle Mayweather. Mayweather. Yeah, great house. <laughs> you, you know what, boy? That media didn't talk to some shit, boy. <laughs> Motherfucker gonna need a goddamn Emmy or something. You know what I'm saying? Flag, I don't uh-uh. No, what's up? But yeah, um, it was a sparring match. You know what I'm saying, like that. But uh, no, it was it was heels for the taking. It was my he embraced it like a you know he put them he took the training wheels off and put some real handlebars on there, put mm-hmm. some big boy ties on there, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, uh, I always admired my father singing and to be able to make a record with him, which was Getting It On, which, mm-hmm. which was the first record we ever did. We actually wrote two verses to it. Well, I did, and my father wrote all his different verses, uh, choruses, because as you can see, the chorus changed. Yeah. And um, one day, after Black had uh, fell back out with Paul and them, cause you know what I'm saying, we was all working together in the beginning, then Black bumped on Paul, then uh, Paul and them bumped on Black, and they bumped on me too, you know what I'm saying, and then I bumped on they ass with the True Bitch Mafia, and uh, Black heard that junk, you know what I'm saying, he heard a couple more songs I had, and I had getting it on, I was finna go drop, and so he decided to get on that jump. but that was the first uh, junk that we did, it was getting it on, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that was the first record my, my father and I ever did. And then, um, well actually, and we was in the works of working up Crowning Me because I had recorded Crowning Me on another track, but and he would sing to it, you know what I'm saying, after I brought it home, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause actually the first record I brought home was Slangin' Rocks. I don't know if you know something about that. Oh, look at this Fly Nation ass <laughs> nigga over here. I'm so sick of this Fly Nation ass <laughs> nigga over here. <laughs> He ain't interviewing me. What you doing over here? This nigga is the truth. Man, I'm telling you, I'm still mad at him from That's the That's Rashad, y'all. That's Rashad in the cold. Yeah, not this time, but yeah. the next time, you motherfucker, you come, I'm still fucking beef with him about the time. I told you. Don't worry about it. We're going to talk about Rashad. We said no. <laughs> What's your number? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, uh, you know, getting it on was the first record we did, and uh, it was a beautiful thing. And Bill always sang, and once I 
brought those records home. Like I said, when I brought Slangin' Rocks home, he identified with the artistry and seeing that uh, I was making actual music and yep. uh, we was documenting it and he was talking about ownership, how you claim ownership. And I was telling him that them niggas talking about putting it in an envelope and mailing it back to yourself and shit like that. And he like, no. Uh, this company here, this is the Library of Congress, this is the Copyright Office, you fill out this application, you do this. Uh, this is public company, you know what I'm saying? Like I told you, spend this and do that, hook you up. So now, you know what I'm saying, I'm a music publisher, so, but never was he trying to take over my music, it was his for the taking. My father always taught me that we were one, you know what I'm saying? I was him, he was me. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, any time he wanted to grab, we didn't have spats, you know what I'm saying? Like. Um, the missus asked me the other day, she was asking me, did I ever have that, you know, stand up to your father moment? Uh, never. Yeah. Never. We didn't have that type of relationship. And it wasn't because I was scared of him. He didn't mind beat me. I got one whooping, like I told her. That, you know what I'm saying? I did some foul shit in elementary school, me and some guys. We might rough the nigga up in the bathroom, jumped him and shit, man. He got concussion and shit. That was Damn. the only whooping that I got. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't need no whooping, man. I knew what to do, you know what I'm saying? My ultimate goal was to make him proud, you know what I'm saying? So I, you know, put it in his hands, let him show me how to do it, then let, let me show you, I know how to do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, I think the biggest discrepancy we had was about the understanding of copyrights, the different uh, applications that you fill out for certain type of rights, and he didn't understand that I was in a position at such a young age to control so much of my music because, you know what I'm saying, what he had been through. And, um, you know, it was a different application, you know what I'm saying, in actuality. To this day, I was right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Jack, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's only because he sharpened me to be the iron that I am, you know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to call you out, Fly, since you like to come in here and start all this shit, and you want to swell up and down that don't nobody know you. I'm trying to watch a hit TV show called P Valley, and I'm here and play a fly bumping in the back of a TV show, but don't nobody know you, but they knew you to put so, you on the soundtrack of a show. They didn't know me. Oh, I'm right. going to tell you what's up. Talk to me. Oh, it was a neighborhood. It used to be in Memphis. It was called Pussy Valley. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You was guaranteed to ride through there if you had your nice car and get you some pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Call it P Valley to be discreet. Yeah. Uh, Lionsgate. And uh, Stars Network, I think it was, yeah. uh, got a cahoots, and they came and uh, tried to uh, come up with this concept for this strip club in Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? And this is me finding all this knowledge from hindsight because I didn't know nothing about this. Yeah. But because of the late great Bill Chill and all yeah. the stuff we just talked about in the last question, when they decided to make their soundtrack and wanted to make it Memphis based, yeah. I was one of the artists that had they ducks in the row where they had to contact SPV, SPL Music yeah. to see who was in control of this record to see if they can get rights to put it on there. Yeah, Because a lot of them artists, I don't know if they got paid for their stuff on there, I don't even know if they own the rights to their music. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, when they called me and contacted me, we talked about a check they discussed the check We got the check It took them a little long To get the check to me But They sent me the check You know yeah. what I'm saying But uh, you know what I'm saying And I don't know what they thought But once I started sending them emails Like look man I'm finna send this to my lawyer Next week Y'all over there uh, Man it's gonna be in there You know what I'm saying We can't control Man I don't wanna hear that I'm telling them Man in Memphis Nigga turn my I don't wanna hear that shit man <laughs> Y'all got my song on this motherfucking show. I now resigned the motherfucking consent for the license. You know what I'm saying? The sync sync licensing. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I now already uh, went down on my price. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already using my shit. I'm about to go up on the motherfucking price. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker inboxing me, talking this shit on him. And uh, then, yeah, they send my motherfucking check. Well, it still that? smell like they knew you by the end of it, though. No by, by the end of it. You know what I'm saying? By the time when we play this song, y'all yeah. motherfuckers gonna know me by the end of this motherfucker here, too. You know what I'm saying? That's just be y'all acting like y'all niggas don't know me from the beginning. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So this is just a reminder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is just a, a reiteration. You know what I'm saying? For the whole federation, for the whole congregation, for the whole goddamn nation, in the name of Fly Nation. You know, y'all niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they go for all y'all niggas, too. 
You know what I'm saying? All you niggas that don't answer the phone when I call, you know what I'm saying? All you niggas that leave me hanging. When I finally, you know what I'm saying, after I get tired of my assistant and my brother saying, go on, call him, just ask him for a feature. And I'm like, man, I'm not calling these motherfuckers. When I finally go on, call y'all, y'all still don't do it. And I have to look back and see, that's the reason why none of y'all ask me to call now another motherfucker. I'm not calling now, motherfucker. I don't need no motherfucking battle. Who the fuck am I? Let's know about need no motherfucking battle. Don't ask me about these niggas. Fuck these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Then they want to shout me out and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like it's cool and shit. Yeah, I ain't got time for that fake ass shit. So y'all niggas, y'all niggas really don't know. Y'all lucky I got grandchildren because man, I be messing as a motherfucker. Fly, them mouths. We know these niggas some bitches. Okay, I'm still, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Answer me this though, fly again. Them masters, was you able to get them things? What masters? Yo, of your music in the catalog because I know you say that you was uh I saw on Instagram that was one of your goals for 2021 to redo that masters and redrop everything. No, it said to re uh release it. Re release it. I've always been in control of my masters since uh 1996, 1998 and 1999. All you have to do is log on to this website. Uh it's the copyright.gov. Yeah. And if you type in my name, this is the Library of Congress Copyright Office. All you have to do is just type in the name of my works, and it's going to come up that Mr. IBN owns all of this here. And then you can go on BMI.com, uh, and uh, you can type in the title of any song, and it's going to show you that Mr. Ibby Young always owned 200% of his jack. I own the publisher rights and the writer's rights to all of my works. I have always and forever will own them. I will never sell them. I will never uh, give them away, you know what I'm saying? Even though they may have been misinterpreted by other organizations and structures, I have always been in control of my masters, unlike you other rappers that come out today with these big stories and say you bought your masters and all that. Uh, I ain't never had to do that. You know what I'm saying? So what you redrop? You know Taylor Swift got to re-record her whole catalog. Yeah, I heard about that. She said she gonna re-record every song. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's okay, what you right. redropping though, Fly? Which, which ones? Redropping Are you dropping everything? everything. I'm going to start dropping a song a week for 52 weeks. I'm going to drop 52 songs, so it's going to be like mine a whole year of Fly. We're just going to make it rain Fly like a hurricane. Exactly. You know like a tropical storm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be mixing some new stuff in there with it. You know what I'm saying? I got a big record featuring Nivea. Ooh. Uh, it's a remake to uh, Getting It On. It's called All Night Ooh. Long. You know what I'm saying? I got this. Uh, I met a girl in Georgia, produced by uh, Drama Boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, real hot. You know what I'm saying? We kind of leaked it a little bit during that Super Bowl run, but I'm gonna go on and push and shoot a video to that joint. Uh, the I met a girl beauty pageant, so I'm gonna be looking for some hookers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> looking for some hookers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna release the whole catalog. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like you ever graduated the game, though, Fly? Man, I learned that. I was um, a professor the whole time. Ooh. I just had to dig up my degrees and dust them off a little bit. Yeah. Did you hear that? Again, I said I was a professor the whole motherfucking time. Man, I'm a cold motherfucker. I just had to dig up my degrees and dust them bitches off. And y'all know what color dust they were covered in, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, you know what I'm saying? How did you survive COVID-19, Fly? Man, listen, I was in COVID-18. Oh! So, like, really, before COVID hit, man, I was already in some type of hibernation. You know what I'm saying? Due to some other situations that I had going on with the music, you know what I'm saying, the legal matters. So, uh, I was just staying out the way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I had got a spot, man, out in... Uh, Germantown out there around the crackers, you know what I'm saying, in Memphis. And my my brother and I, we was just in hibernation. I was posted in the hood, trapping so hard. And my bro was like, man, we got too much going on. I got to get you out of here, man. We're going to go over here. So I took me and the Angels, and we packed up, man, and we went out there, and we posted up in Germantown. And, uh, man, uh, you know, had white people around each side, you know what I'm saying? They didn't know who I was. I didn't know who they was, and I wouldn't come out the house. I'd do my grocery shopping at late night, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'd come out and ride my bicycle a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But that was about it. And then COVID hit, mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying? And so by the time COVID hit, um, 
I was already looking into a new space, you know what I'm saying? So when I got into my new space, you know what I'm saying, it was my right there with my brothers. We got a little area where we be at in the city, so I got right in the middle of my brothers, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't nothing left for me to do but to build my space and enjoy that, and my, I had the chunks to with me right there, so I was already in hibernation, you know what I'm saying? I had prepared but not going out to eat and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the biggest impact was not doing any shows, but, you know, that's always been hit or miss, but I've been, you know, consistent throughout the years. I thank God that I've always kept a gig or two around, you know what I'm saying, but there wasn't no big deal, but it, it gave me time to focus on that email box money, that e-commerce, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I got... uh my store together, Shop With Fly, S-H-O-P-W-I-T-F-L-Y, do that shit right now, you know what I'm saying, shopwithfly.com, you know what I'm saying, I got that jump popping, you know what I'm saying, and I started learning how to sell content and engage with my audiences and do different things to, you know, sell myself, to market myself, and so, you know what I'm saying, that's why I said I was in COVID-18, I was already <laughs> <laughs> hibernated so you know what I'm saying about time 19 hit I wasn't messed up about it but I'm about ready for 20 I'm ready to come outside you know what I'm saying <laughs> and yeah you hear me ask you about a mask coming up in here so uh, shouts out to the mayor you know what I'm saying yes sir you know uh, doing your career fly you've always been a fighter the whole time was there ever any times that you felt so damn down that you was like you know what F this shit all together. Fuck this shit all together. Every day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every day. You know what I'm saying? It's something. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't even nothing to do with the business, it's enough that goes on in life that just makes you say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I said the other day, boy, I could have been a lawyer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would have been a, a bad motherfucking lawyer. You know what I'm saying? You know? But, uh, yeah, every day. But that's that's the art of it. That's the battle. That's the gift. You know what I'm saying? The strength. Just say, man, yeah, well, this is what I'm going to do. That's mm -hmm. what defines me. But every day is something. You know, being incarcerated was one of the biggest points, you know what I'm saying? Because it was like, you know, my, my father passed away, my grandmother passed away, and then it felt like I passed away, you know what I'm Shit. saying, going in to do the, the stretch. And it just happened in a sequence. Like I said, Bill died in 99, Big Mama died in 2000. Shit, I was going to jail in 2001, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like a trifecta. So if at any time a motherfucker felt like, man, damn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The situation is really critical, you know what I'm saying? That would have been one of the lowest points, you know what I'm saying? But. I didn't think it was over with, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, every day is something, you know what I'm saying? If not every day, every other day, you know what I'm saying? And it, like I said, it, it's not only music business shit, because, you know, niggas act like they really don't know me for real. It'd be hard to get DJs to play records. It'd be a lot of shit going on with people, you know what I'm saying, in the industry, you know what I'm saying? That shit be discouraging, but I've always been an outlaw, a rebel. Yeah. Anyway, shouts out to all the Georgia rebels, you know what I'm saying? Um, Man, so that just fueled to my fire. Love to hate me, motivate me, you Thanks. know. But, uh, yeah, it comes along with the territory. That's what makes you who you are in anything that you do. During the time that you were locked down, Fly, what was that like for you being player Fly behind them walls? Oh, it was just different, man, you know what I'm saying, because, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> there was a lot of misconception about me being gang-related or uh, different lines I had said in different songs, you know what I'm saying, that – you know, different organizations may have took offense to or may, may have been offensive, but it was never on my part to be offensive to any of those organizations or hoods or sets or anything. I just didn't have no knowledge. But overall, you know what I'm saying, just being a stand-up guy, being a stand-up individual, you know what I'm saying, I did my time like a champ, stayed high every day, kept smuggling drugs through that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, didn't sell none, just got high as a motherfucking dog, you know what I'm saying. And uh, mine just applied myself, you know what I'm saying, read books and shit, you know what I'm saying, entertained myself, stayed out the way. But the biggest part was just missing, you know, my children, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, my children were small, you know what I'm saying, they was just coming into my life. So that was a big transition, like I said, just losing everything that I had stood for, like my grandmother, my father, you know what I'm saying, it's just... It's a weird situation, so my the medication helped. I like I said, shit, man, I'm smoking so much dope in that motherfucker. When you touch back down, what was it that got your spirits back up? 
touching down, period. You know what I'm saying? My spirits were never low, you know what I'm saying? The, the mob always motivated me. Like I said, you know, I was all right, you know what I'm saying? I was cool, you know what I'm saying? But just touching down alone was... And the anticipation, you know, you know, it was a free player flag campaign always going on, you know, always, you know, it wasn't no social media like it is today, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the demand was there, you know what I'm saying? The public wanted me there. It was a warm embrace to come back, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we fed the streets. I just didn't miss, I just didn't understand what they had going on with the music at that time. But um, the motivation was there, the anticipation of just being released, period. You have to understand, I love music. Mm -hmm. I'm a musician, but I love music as a human. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? If I wasn't a musician, I still love music. I, I don't know where I would be in life without being able to just enjoy music. You know, being able to create music and promote and distribute music takes it to a whole nother level of love for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? and especially being a second generation musician, but overall just my love music, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I love all types of music. I just love listening to it and enjoying music. So, and that's one thing that kept me grounded in there, man. I listened to music. I wouldn't listen to no rap. I would listen to all the other stations. I listened to the rock station or the pop station or the older station, but yeah. I never listened. And they was, man, your song on the radio, man, you know, maybe I listened to it a little bit, but yeah. I never fed into that because, you know what I'm saying, I wanted to be there. You exactly. Know what I'm so I got kind of got back to where I was raised, the stuff that my dad would play growing up or the stuff that I heard growing up, the 80s. Man, they made great music in the 80s, too. Max, you know what I'm saying? I don't tell boy, and it relates to what I like to do, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the real cocaine music. Okay, so, Fly, what was we at? Any documentaries in the books on the way? Man, I, start, I started recording a couple of documentaries a couple of years ago, um, but um, nothing's in the works to be released, man. Uh, I just play my cards so close to my chest, man. I'm just so secretive, you know what I'm saying? And I'm thankful that I still have the ability to have that reservation, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I think uh, Mr. Harris, Clifford, you know yeah. what I'm saying, said it best, you can't afford the price of fame because it costs too much, mm. you know what I'm saying? And, like, I'm so – thankful that I can afford the little price, the little fame that I do have. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of my cars, I just play them close to my chest, you know what I'm saying? But that's why they got backs on them, be high. Yeah. So you can't see what's in my hand. Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? And I don't feel obligated to grant you insight just because I'm a public figure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when I blatantly, you know, exploit everything that I am, it's often misunderstood. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, maybe one day you will have a, a tell-all book or a memoir or a documentary, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I often sit with my brother, like Mr. Everywhere over there, and he tells stories about memories that uh, he have, and I be like, you better make sure you get a pretty penny for that one, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because he's got some fly stories that's out of this world. But if I ever did anything, I would release a book, and it would be entitled mm -hmm. The Fly Philosophies of Ebonism. Ooh. And it would just consist of, you know, the way that I think, you know, the way that I express certain stuff, you know, just, you know, all the uh, highlights of some of the stuff we've, you know, covered yeah. during this interview and just, you know what I'm saying. I stuff can like that. that. Hell yeah. I can give you one example. Come like, on with it. You know how a person said, you make me happy? Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe in that. Mm. I believe everybody should be responsible for their own happiness, even when it comes that. down to your companion. Because if your companion can make you happy, what else can your companion make? It can make, make you, you sad make and you mad. mad. Exactly. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying, you stay in control of your own happiness and don't let her, you know what I'm saying, place that responsibility on you. You know what I'm saying? You made me mad. No, you made yourself mad. You chose to make that decision to get angry at that. 
incident that actually transpired, but at the end of the day, you made yourself mad. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You could have dealt with it a whole different way. The Bible says, turn the other cheek. That means if I come over there and slap the shit at you right now, you're supposed to turn your other cheek and let me slap the shit at you again. It said, if I take your coat, you're supposed to let me have your cloak as well. That's the cape junk they used to wear yeah. on top of it. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what the Bible say if you want to you know, be all righteous. Yeah. But no. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I be fly. So with that being said, my <laughs> hey, uh, the fly philosophies of Ibanism. So you stay in control of your own happiness. You know what I'm saying? It's in your best interest, and you and someone co collectively could conjure up happiness. Y'all can enjoy happiness together. Y'all can pursue happiness together. You understand what I'm saying? And y'all had a happy time, and we were happy together, but never you made me happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I made me happy. Now, I didn't make you happy. You made yourself happy. We enjoyed happiness together. We created happiness together. We found happiness together. Mm -hmm. But never do you let anyone assume their responsibility or place their responsibility on you. That's just one Philosophy. I can dig that. I love that. I okay. can dig that. Y'all can dig it too. Over your whole catalog, mm -hmm. Fly, what is the song that really represents you the best that you felt like you just got your shit off on? Talk to me. Crowning me, man. Come on with it. Man, crowning me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is truly the, you know, the song that everybody identifies with. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't even understand what the phrase nobody needs, nobody means. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to tell y'all that I think about it. But back at the <laughs> ranch, uh, crowning me. You know what I'm saying? Because it said, you know, niggas ask me. You know what I'm saying? If I ever reach the top, and it look like I'm up pretty high right now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, I be high right now, right? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, said no more. You know what I'm saying? If I ever reach the top, I forget about them. So I ask niggas if I don't reach the top. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I ain't had all the accolades that y'all claim it takes to be at the top. You know what I'm saying? Would y'all forget about me? And like I said, let alone forget about me. These niggas act like they don't know. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Yeah, so at the end of the day, you know, you busters just be downing me. Suckers should be crowning me. me. And I'm his eye till I diz eye play a fliz eye. That means I'm going to be high till I motherfucking die. Play a fly. You know what I'm saying? I'm representing this M to three. I'm on a pack of P. You know what I'm saying? I still love and respect and honor my G-O-D. And, uh, man, I'm straight from SPV. And fuck a wanna be, bitch. Yeah. I mean, you just snapped with that one once again, fly. And then also I was talking to my guy, uh, uh, M-Rec out of New York. He said that folks are always trying to give folks their flowers. But he was like, flowers is what you get to dead people. He said, we got to get kings. But don't crimes. give me no flowers. Just give me some powder. Don't give me no flowers. Just give me some powder. Don't give me no flowers. <laughs> Just give me some powder. Standing in the shower, full of that powder. After, after hour, full of that powder. Oh, my fault. I ain't mad at that. I'm mad. MAD, mafia all day. Sometimes you just got to get a king, the kings, they crowns, and fly. You know, you always going to get your crown when you come in town around me. You understand oh, that? Yeah. What's this? A versus? I want a versus right now. It's <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what. Yeah. my Jesus, boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. <laughs> but no, man, it's always fly, man. Thank you so much for coming no, through this thing today, boss. Me, man. I need your support, man. I need the support of the DJs of the streets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, I'm still me. You know. How do saying? you feel when you hear these young artists talk about they were listening to Play A Fly and you motivated them? Oh, that's respect. That's love because it's a lot of stupid ass, dumb <laughs> ass, imbecile, uh, moronic motherfuckers yeah, yeah. out there that act like they forgot that a motherfucker paved the way. So I'm thankful for each and every entity that, you know, can respect. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, like uh, my boy said, put some respect on it. You know what I'm saying? Who yeah. was the folks that just really pissed you off, Fly? Because I could tell by your tone that you just sick of these niggas. Who the hell acted like they didn't know? Everybody. Okay. Everybody, man. Okay. Now, nah, I feel that Everybody. Pain. It be my pain. relatives, motherfucker. It be mine. You'll be surprised, man. You'll be surprised. But Miss Mary uh, at the uh, Love's gas station, she didn't. 
You know what I'm saying? It be motherfuckers like that. You know what I'm saying? The UPS man that came to my house to drop off that beef bacon that was having a bad day. I got (laughs) Nate. You know what I'm saying? Man, I was having a bad day. I said, not no more. You know what I'm saying? He bust out laughing as if he saw Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, man, immediate happiness. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, he couldn't believe. He like, hell no, man. I'm like, hell yeah, nigga. Bring your ass on up here. (laughs) I got to get a picture, man. Hold up, man. You get as many pictures you want, God damn it. Man, man. I was having a bad day today, but I said, not no more. Yeah. He bust out of the lab. like, exactly, nigga. Fuck this shit. We marvel on. Thanks. So, man, as long as they don't forget about me, man, you know what I'm saying? As long as they know me, I'll be all right. But them niggas know, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas know. There's a lot of places I go, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people I see, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to IME Casino, you know what I'm saying? He was the one, he know me, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I've seen him in the mall, you know what I'm saying? Last week, God damn it, hurry up and holler at him, God damn it, family, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Shouts out to Young Dolph. He still answer the phone. You know what I'm saying? He know me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But shouts out to Zaytoven. You know what I'm saying? Zay Ticket. Yeah, that's the motherfucker who called me. I ain't got to call him. He called me. You know what I'm saying? Him, yeah, in the family. You and know speaking of calling you, how can these folks contact you, Fly? What the fuck they want? <laughs> the fuck you calling me for? What the fuck you contacting me for? Shit. They might want a reunion. Man, they might want a burst, black. Uh, listen, 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 listen. Unity will set the whole world free. But if you want to get at me about some business real quick, you can just hit me up on IG. And that's P L A Y A F L Y M 3. I'll spell it again for the guys in the back. Write it down. P L A Y A F L Y M 3. That's on IG. That's where you can find me. But in the meantime, I'm going to tell you why I be at every day, all day, 24 hours a day. Talk to me. I be sitting behind the counter at my store, Shot With Flower, online. I'm Ooh. always sitting in the store 24 hours a day. I don't even sleep. I'm behind the counter at Shot With Fly, S-H-O-P-W-I-T-F-L-Y. Do that shit right now. Come on and visit the store. I'm really not here with Be High right now. This is a clone. I'm actually at the store right now. This is not me. Taking I'm orders. About the clone is in here uh, blowing and everything. Uh, I'm at the store. You know what I'm saying? You want to come rap with me, talk to me. You want to talk about your future career, but you got to buy a shirt first. <laughs> Got to buy a shirt first, you know what I'm saying? Then I come from the back like the Wizard of Oz or a genie out of the lamp or some shit with some mystical shit. I ain't never seen this shit before because it's me, you know what I'm saying? I would give anything to go to a flash show or see this shit. I ain't never seen it before, but you can see it. All you got to do is log on right now, S-H-O-P-W-I-T-F-L-Y. Do that shit right now, shotwithfly.com. That's where you'll find me at. And if you really want to book me, though, for a show, you know, I'll bullshit to the side. But be careful if your girl call this line. I will have her somewhere eating crab legs and uh, third legs. You know what I'm saying? Ah! You, see, you know how your whole little crab legs. You know you don't be wanting to go buy that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I will have her eating crab legs and third legs. Uh, if you want to eat crab legs and third legs, baby, just dial six seven eight <laughs> eight two four four fly. Again, that's six seven eight eight two four. F-L-Y. One more time. That's 678-824-4359. If you want to eat some crab legs, some third legs, or you want to book a show. You know what I'm saying? Play or fly. <laughs> Be high radio shout it. I'll let y'all in a minute, man. We go. Mafia y'all motherfucking day, bitch. <laughs>